Okay, so in this exercise, which is exercise number 11, we look at how to perform analysis on the bridge structure that we have created so far. If you have not uh, followed the previous exercises, you can basically open up my bridge underscore four dot std file and uh, follow the steps that are outlined in this in this um, module. Okay, so uh, now what I'm going to do is uh, on the left hand side, you see there is a analysis slash print control tab. So click on that tab and it'll open up this dialog box. Now in this dialog box, you can specify which analysis um, you want to use. Okay, perform analysis is basically the linear static analysis approach. So I'm just going to use that, but there's other types of analysis types uh, that are available. If you click on add and hit close, see on the right hand side, it shows you a preview of the STAD input file. The STAD input file is basically a text file that contains all the inputs like node coordinates, beam incidences, physical beam definitions, supports, properties, loadings, and type of analysis that you have defined. Okay, so which is right. Um, and the sec, I mean, that's the second last line in this file. Okay. Now, um, once you've given that analysis command, now you can run the analysis on the structure. So basically, STAD is going to form the matrix calculations and and so on. So you go to analyze, run analysis. Okay. You may want to save this file. And here it'll form, uh, you know, do the matrix calculations for you. And we have about 52 warnings, but that's fine. It's just because it's just warning you that there's two members between the same node points. Okay, we know what we're doing. So we'll just click on done. Now, if you look at uh, the post processing mode, okay, there's the modeling and there's at the top, there's a post processing mode. Uh, this mode actually stores all the results or displays all the results. Uh, and the next exercise is basic, basically devoted to interpretation of the results and understanding them.